Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna play with mica powder. I got this at Hobby Lobby. You would have seen this in my Hobby Lobby haul. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I have never used this stuff before and I'm just really curious as to what it will do. So, I've got the instructions from its original packaging and it says you can mix it with liquid to create paste. What this tells me is I don't need to make it paste. I can mix it with liquid. So, I've got liquid. This is just water. It's just water. And this is in a Jeffree Star setting powder container. Clearly empty. Best setting powder in the world. Highly recommend. But we're going to try to use this stuff as watercolor. I think that's what we're going to try first. What I originally got this for is because it's powder, I'm thinking backgrounds. So, like, you know, blend it with a brush or something. So that's what I was originally thinking. Let's see. Which color do we want to use? Let's use copper. Oh my goodness. Do you see the sparkle in there? Okay, this is interesting. I almost don't want to touch it. Okay, we got a little bit. This, let's just do this. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. A little bit goes a long way. I can say that. I wonder if the sparkle stays. Like, you know how sometimes you'll see something really glittery and then all of a sudden there's like no more glitter. I can't tell. Yeah, this is, um, I'm going to say this is um, a messy thing to use. I'm gonna guess that this is water from me opening. Wow, this is crazy as far as it's going. Yeah, that's definitely water. How interesting that it looks though. It's a secret message. I should be careful over there. This will probably never come out of this brush. <laughs> Okay, is it gonna keep moving? That's the issue. Like, do I have to put something over the top of it? So, can you still see that sign? Okay. Yep, this is coffee. I don't see that it transferred over there, but I'm sure that it, I mean, there's no drying to this, so this would have to be, you'd have to put something on it. So, we're gonna turn the page. And we're gonna see. You see, I brought this too for the same kind of thing. Oh, yeah, I mean, that is a ton. Wow, yeah, this is very messy, but very sparkly. I almost feel like I should be wearing a mask because this stuff is so fine. Just disclaimer with that. Uh, let's see. We're gonna try to use it with water. Let's use this. That is probably enough for the whole book. Interesting. 
for those of you that have used this before, you're probably laughing at me, but this is me experiencing this for the first time. So you can use it like paint. Wow, I would not recommend putting the water in the lid like I just did because it's all gonna stick to it if I don't dry it before I put it away. That's really interesting. Hmm. It comes out of the brush pretty easily. I think there's sparkles in the brush though for sure. <laughs> so, okay. Should we play with all three colors? We may as well. I don't want to, I've got to put this one somewhere where I don't dump it. Okay. Let's do the silver. Let's try to be smarter about this one. <laughs> That's what that one looks like. It's very, very, very fine. Okay. Can they blend together? Let's see. more sparkly. <laughs> Let's give this one its own page. Wow, yeah, it's really messy. Check out this mess. It's fun, though. Oh, this one's almost like translucent, almost. I don't know if you if the camera is picking it up, but it's very sparkly, so putting this on snow or something like that would be really cool. And it's showing a little darker because I'm using that. Let's give it a clean brush. Sorry, my furnace is cutting on. It's gonna get loud. Yeah, I don't know what the camera is picking up, but this is very sparkly in real life. Let me try to pick this up and bring it closer. Don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Trust me, it's cool. <laughs> Let's see what this one does with water. We'll just put it over here on the lid. This is also some sort of paint. that's stuck on it, so let's see. Oh, it's very silvery. There it is, in wet form. Interesting. Hmm. Now let's try the gold. Let's see what this one looks like. It's very gold, very sparkly. We'll put it in the lid first. This is a clean one. That's beautiful. You can really, really sheer it out to can you even see it in the camera. 
terrible, terrible lighting. Let's put some more on there. Just in case y'all can't see. Yeah, that's very light. I do hope you can see it. Okay, well, let's see what this one's gonna do in water. Hmm. Well, it will definitely work for what I intended for it to work for. I don't usually go for things that I have to use water. And I mean, this is pretty ugly, but you know, <laughs> I won't fix it if I put it on a coloring page. But yeah, this is some pretty interesting stuff. It warped that paper pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, this is some pretty interesting stuff. Um, anybody that has used this, this is definitely transferring over here. I mean, it's like I said, there's no drying process when you put it on dry. So, does anybody have any suggestions of what you could like put on it to fix it? You know, spray anything, whatever that is. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed me experiencing mica powder for the first time and how I intend to use it in my coloring books. So, uh, thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!